Hello everyone, the old LHL, the original LHL, well the LHL from seasons 3 and 4, is back, and I guess season 5 as well. So, a few changes. National Anthems are back. A new lighting system of those three lights right there that I pull from over there and bring here to position so we can get enough light on the ice. As well as a rule change. If you're down by a goal or two in like the final minute, you can pull your goalie now for an extra attacker. Anyways, without any further doing, let's get to the opening intro. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the west side of the ice. Right now, we will welcome LHL Commissioner Zach Shapiro. Hello, everyone. Today, it's a big day for the LHL franchise. I have officially made the decision to bring the LHL back to YouTube, as well as my life. When I stopped the season for the new LHL just two games in, people were wondering where it was, and I decided to pull it out of my life permanently. However, after some thinking, the LHL is back and it's ready to surge once again. But without any further doing, let's get to hockey. Let's introduce the starting lineups. First, for the Saskatoon Blizzard. Starting at center, Wade Megan. Starting at left wing, Andrew Agazino. Starting at right wing, Paul Thompson and in net Carter Hart and now Jacksonville let's introduce the line of your Jacksonville son starting at center Mark Messier starting at left wing Bobby Orr Starting at right wing, Guy LeFleur, I cannot say that name, ever. And in net, Corey Schneider. So there you go, we've got the starting lineups for your Jacksonville Sun and the Saskatoon Blizzard. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Gentlemen, remove your caps for the presenting of tonight's national anthems. First, the Canadian national anthem.
And now, the American National Anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing some technical difficulties getting the system working for the National Anthem. And it looks like we've got it working now. Thank you, and enjoy the game. Here we are. The teams are set up, and the lights are coming back on. That means it is time for LHL hockey. It is back on the Blackhawks Vision YouTube channel, and it is back in the YouTube world once again. Now, remember the rule change. Underway. This is Andrew Agazzino holding up and he'll place it in behind the net. Bounces it off the boards. And he almost put it off Carter Hart in the in, in their own net, but that didn't happen. Wade Megan holds up. He shoots one. Schneider deflected it. Bobby Orr at the line. Holds up. Drops it backwards. Messier at center. Holding up. Gave it over. LeFleur with a shot. It's a stop by Carter Hart. And now a quick shot by Agazzino hits the post. And now here's Wade Megan. Paul Thompson. Shot. Stop. Goal. It's Corey Schneider. 1-0 Jacksonville. Corey Schneider made the stop on Thompson and it went in. Jacksonville leads 1-0. 36 seconds in. Thompson drops it backwards. No, that was Agazzino. Sorry. Thompson gave it up to Wade Megan, who drops back, holds up, shot, missed it, just barely to the right. Bobby Orr holds up, shoots, and he missed it to the right, and it bounced back. Hart, Agazino a shot, no good. Here is Mark Messier, fakes the pass to Orr, and he shot it very weakly. Carter Hart was able to make a quick stop on that. Andrew Agazino drops it back. Carter Hart. Gave it up to Wade Megan. Megan holds up. Fires no good. Thompson the rebound. And Schneider holds up and he'll he makes a save and he'll hold up before giving it up to Orr. And now it's a deflection pass. LaFleur hit the pipe. Rebound no good. That one also came from LaFleur. And we're halfway through period one. This is going to be Bobby Orr's shot. Stopped by Carter Hart. Hold up for too long. Carter Hart. Gave it to Paul Thompson. Drops it away from the line. Where did it go? Behind the red line, the goal line. Agazino shot a stop by Corey Schneider. Deflection up. Lafleur shot no. Or the rebound off the post. And now Lafleur. Oh, he faked it. Messier. And he hit the crossbar. And it goes out of bounds. And we are going to get back underway. Face off. It will be between Bobby Orr and Paul Thompson. Back underway. Thompson missed it to the right. Schneider holds up. He gave it to Orr, who drops it back. LeFleur. Here's his shot. It's stopped. And a rebound try from Orr. Very weak. Stopped by Hart. Thompson, no good. Almost bounced in, but Hart made the stop on the bounce back. They score! Andrew Agazzino. I believe it went off Schneider. But it doesn't matter. Saskatoon has tied the game. We are tied at one with 46 seconds left in the first. Here is Bobby Orr. 
Oh, he faked it. Oh, it came right back to him. Oh, and he missed it. Off the glass. Now Thompson puts it over the net. Made it look like he was going to go to the right. Landed it perfectly. Lafleur to save by heart. Megan bounced it back. Agazino. Now Megan the shot. Double deflection by a couple of the Sun players. And now Bobby Orr. Here's his shot. No. Rebound. And that one barely misses. Nah, I'm just kidding. It was way wide. Here is Messier. Bobby Orr. And he hit the post again. Paul Thompson. Hard shot. Missed it to the left. And now Agazino's going to try what it scores again. With four seconds left. And it's two to one Saskatoon. Here's the face off. Drops back. Orr having trouble handling the puck. And he hits the post. The horn. And the horn never went off. And now it's just shot into the net because the volume was all the way down. Just perfect. There we go. Now we'll be able to hear the horn as we head into the second period after these short quote-unquote messages. All right, we're back for period two. Andrew Agazino with two goals of similar style in that period. Just a quick wrister from the left side, which is his position, left wing. The front line for Jacksonville has not been able to done... <laughs> They haven't been able to do much. They hit the post a lot. They got to stop hitting the post. Corey Schneider has had the only goal for their team. Meanwhile, Lafleur drops it from the line. And Carter Hart with a good save. And now Thompson deflects it off Schneider and out of bounds. And we will be back for the next faceoff. I'm just kidding. We're here now. Here's the faceoff. Schneider. And here's Messier. Lafleur made it look like he was going to pass it to Orr. But he instead took the shot. It was stopped by Hart. Agazino missed it off the glass. Rebound from Thompson is no good. Bobby Orr. He's going to take it. Carter Hart didn't even have to move. Had to move there. Here's Wade Megan. His shot stopped. Rebound Agazino trying for the hat trick. But it didn't go over too well. Here is Lafleur. Drops back. He scores. Guy Lafleur straight into the net. Didn't even elevate off the ice. Carter Hart didn't see it coming. And we are tied at two goals apiece. Here in the second period. Thompson fired it off the post. Bobby Orr. Mark Messier took the shot instead of passing it to Lafleur. And now it's up for Agazino. Here's a shot. It deflects in for the hat trick. It looked like it went in off of both posts before it finally settled in the net. Andrew Agazino has a hat trick and the Blizzard lead it 3-2. Now the faceoff. Agazino faked the shot. Instead he dropped it behind the goal line. And now Saskatoon must recover from that. Look out, it's a turnover. First one of the season. And now the shot. It is blocked by Megan, I believe, and it went out of bounds. It did not touch Carter Hart. It's the first turnover of the season for either team. And it was by Paul Thompson. Bobby Orr bounced it off. Look out, gave it away. And now here's a shot on goal, and it's deflected wide by Corey Schneider. And now Mark Messier barely able to get a pass away. Agazino stopped by Corey Schneider. Now Guy Lafleur and a save, and somehow it made its way out. And we are exactly halfway through this game. Two, uh, th three minutes, no. Four and a half minutes through the game. Minute and a half to go. Thompson fired it, deflected away by Corey Schneider. Here is Mark Messier. And here's Guy Lafleur holding up. No, he passed it to Orr, who fires one, and he missed it to the right. However, they regain. No, it's on the line now. Orr with a quick shot. They score. Carter Hart didn't see that one coming either. And we're tied. Holy cow. Orr immediately shot it when he got the puck. Didn't hesitate, and we're tied. The minute he got the puck, he didn't hesitate to shoot it. And now the shot stopped. Here's Lafleur. Messier now fires, and it's a stop for Carter Hart. Agazino is absolutely dominated. Paul Thompson stopped. Rebound Agazino with his fourth of the game. It's 4-3 Blizzard with a minute to go here in the second period. Here's Guy Lafleur. Stop there. And now just more passing back and forth and a good save for Carter Hart on Guy Lafleur when it looked like it was going in for certain. Paul Thompson hit the post and Schneider. Now here's Bobby Orr and a quick shot. No. Agazino, he has four goals today. 
So yeah, it's pretty much a, it's pretty much a two. And look out, deflection pass or a stop. It's pretty much a two guy effort. Agazino and Hart for the Blizzard, who are up four to three. Pucks on the line. Agazino, quick non hesitant shot. Couple of them there. Look out, turnover and it hit the post. Wow, I thought that was going in for certain. And now the shot for, from Guy Lafleur. Look out, Messier gets it and it gets out of bounds with 11 seconds to go here in the second period. 4-3 Saskatoon. Here's the draw. Now the pass up. Paul Thompson turns around and he didn't even come close. Bobby Orr missed it. They might be able to get one shot off, which they do. They get two off actually before the buzzer. And it is 4-3 Saskatoon when we get back. All right, here we go. Third period about to get underway between the Sun and the Blizzard. Will the Blizzard hold on or will the Sun find a way to come back? Guy Lafleur shot hits the iron immediately. And look out, Wade Megan scores! Wade Megan in and out of the net. And the Blizzard are now up by two. Here early in the third period. Five to three Blizzard. Agazino has had a great solo effort tonight with four goals. And now it's back. A shot. Hit the post. Bobby Orr missed it off, off the glass. Or maybe the boards. Turnover. Messier has shot a good stop. Lafleur deflection. Bobby Orr. And all the players got a chance. And there's a goal. This time by Paul Thompson. And it is now 6-3 to three Saskatoon. With two early goals in the third period. Here's Guy Lafleur as the Blizzard are now up 6-3. to three. And now that one's turned over. What has happened to Jacksonville? Now here's Andrew Agazino. A good stop by Corey Schneider. Mark Messier. Oh man, he should have just let Bobby Orr shoot it. Probably would have had a better result. And now a shot. It's stopped there. And a quick no. Good. Now Bobby Orr. A couple deflections there. But didn't get much off him. Paul Thompson turned it over, Messier, or no. And now, Carter Harden behind the net. Look out, it's a turnover. Guy Lafleur hits the post. And we're a little under halfway through the third period. The Jacksonville Sun are going to need three. Paul Thompson trying to make it four. Up six to three. Agazino, and he hit the post. He hit le post. Now that shot from the line is no good. Rebound stop again. Great effort by Carter Hart. Halfway through the third. Jacksonville needs three, but they can't get one there. And Wade Beagan is stopped by Corey Schneider. And look out, they nearly turn it over. And it goes in somehow. I don't know who's going to get credit for that one. Probably Thompson. But the, the Saskatoon Blizzard have pretty much put this one away. It's 7-3. Andrew Agazino over to Thompson. Shot and he hit the post. And he just dumps it down. And now a quick shot off the post. And barely able to keep it on side is Orr, but it doesn't do much. And Agazino just puts another one in. And it's 8 to 3 now. It is a blowout. And it looks like the Saskatoon Blizzard are going to win this game. No matter what the Jacksonville Sun do, they're up by 5. Paul Thompson, Wade Megan, they're just trying to run time off the clock. And a shot missed it. And they're going to try for the net, but it was blocked. Bobby Orr, no good. 38 seconds. And a shot deflected out of bounds by Mark Messier. And it actually hit off the light, which is why you heard it dink. Here's the shot there. No good. Here is Paul Thompson. Shot doesn't go in. Messier trying and he's blocked. Wade Megan just holding on. Now Thompson going to dump it down. But it got right back to him. And a shot. Oh, that could have gone in, but it didn't. And a shot. They score. Guy Lafleur, And it's 8-4. to four. The blizzard just absolutely explode in the, th the third period scoring four. And they got to try to get one more here. They're going to try. I missed it. And that is going to do it for this game. And, Ag and Agazino just dumps it down. The Saskatoon Blizzard win it. 8-4. to four. 
just a blowout win. The Jacksonville Sun were hoping for a win on opening day, but it doesn't come to be. Final score, 8-4. to four. And now they depart the ice as well. So, just a complete explosion. I believe Agazino had five goals. Four or five. I think five. I'd have to rewatch, but... All that matters is that the Saskatoon Blizzard won the game 8-4. to four. Final score in the game. Saskatoon Blizzard 8. Jacksonville Sun 4. So, that's going to do it for this game. And now the lights are dimming. As always, do at the end of games, the lights dim to save power until all the fans exit the stadium. So... I want to thank you guys for watching this game, and I'll see you in the next one very, very soon.